What's up everyone, Joey Keith here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about how to level up your scoreboard faster using the Nuka Grenade method mixed with my how to level up method in order to get the repeatable challenge to complete as fast as possible. I came up with this after watching a couple of videos from Angry Turtle and Mr. West Tech, and I'll link their videos in the description. So if you haven't heard of them, then go check them out. They are great channels for Fallout 76 tips and and tricks. I'm also going to link a video that I made for leveling up because that is the basis for what I'm doing here. So if you don't know the consumables and gear and stuff that you need in order to make your character level up a little bit faster, uh, then go watch that video now and then come right back here. The first thing you're going to need is a lot of Nuka grenades. If you don't know how to get those or where to get them, that link for the Angry Turtle video down in the description goes over all of that. So that'll help you out a lot. You will also need an instigating weapon as your secondary. It really doesn't matter what kind of weapon, but in my experience, a one handed melee weapon seemed to work the best, especially when you're trying to like run away really fast after you throw the grenade. So that's the one that worked best for me, but you can use whichever one you want. As far as your main weapon is concerned, you can use whatever you want. So rifle, shotgun, doesn't matter, heavy gun, whatever you want. Now I'm gonna show you the mutations that I have have. Uh, some are more important than others. So check out that how to level up guide. That'll tell you which ones do what specifically for leveling up. And uh, I'm also going to show you the perk cards that I have equipped here. But the main ones that you need, the main perk cards that you need are Grenadier, Night Person, Fire in the Hole, Kim Fiend, Cola Nut, Strange in Numbers, Inspirational, Nerd Rage, Demolition Expert, uh, Bloody Mess, and Class Free. The rest of the perks, honestly, that's really determined by your playstyle. So it really that it's up to you. You can put whatever you want. It just depends on what weapon you're using and how you play. I suggest upgrading the legendary intelligence card as high as you can and using the detonation contagion card as well. I mean, the whole idea is to get the biggest explosion you can and the most damage all while boosting your XP as high as possible. Intelligence boosts your XP by about 2% for each point. So for gear, I'm using a full set of unyielding and I'm running my health below 20% because that's what's going to boost all the special points by 15. For consumables, I'm using Berry Mintats, Cranberry Relish, Brain Bombs, and a Nuka Cola Twist. You're also going to want to use four lunch boxes in order to get double XP. You can also use the leader bobblehead and the live and let live number three magazine. That's just gonna push it a little bit further. In this example, I didn't have that and it still worked pretty good, but the, especially the magazine, the magazine really boosts it a lot more when you have the herbivore mutation specifically. Use the ally Steven Scarberry to get a 5% XP boost and sleep in a bed to get another 5% on top of that. Now, as far as location, West Tech is going to be the best place to farm XP. And the reason why this is is because when you first go in, the super mutants are going to level up to your level. If you're over level 100, they should be 100. If they're not the first time, they will be the second time you go in for sure. And then once you take them all out, whenever you leave, you just leave for about a minute. And then whenever you come back in, they'll all spawn right back. So it's great for just going in, grinding, and then coming right back out, going in, grinding, coming back out, that kind of thing. Now, if this isn't happening, happening for you is probably because there's a quest at West Tech that you need to complete. So you're going to have to look that up, just complete that quest, and then you should be able to do what I'm doing here. All right. So here is the run that I do. Once I get inside, I just, I go through this door and then I take out these enemies in this order. And then I kind of go in this direction, just follow my lead if you want to. Then I get to this door and I open this door. Now here is where you're gonna throw your first grenade and you need to make sure that your instigating weapon is in your hand when you throw the grenade. And the reason why that is, is because an instigating weapon for some reason makes the grenade do double damage. Don't ask me why. 
it just works. I found that aiming the grenade here seems to work pretty well, but you can try other spots if you want. I try to run away as fast as possible so I don't irradiate myself from the blast. It's easy to take yourself out here, so you know, keep that in mind. I then run to this door and I aim the grenade here and do the same thing. I run to this last door, aim here, and then run to the exit. Now, right when I click on the door to exit, I set a timer for a minute as the loading screen is going. Once that timer is over, I'll turn around, go back in, do it again, and then do it again, and again, and again, and again. <laughs> yes, this gets pretty boring, uh, but you know what? It works. And before you know it, the scoreboard will be done and you will have all that sweet, sweet content. Okay, so that is everything that I know about how to make the scoreboard level up faster. Leave a comment down below if you know something else that'll help us out and let me go even faster. Before I sign off, I just wanted to thank all the subscribers. I'm almost at 600 right now and I just think that's awesome. So thank you for the support. And if you're not subscribed and this video helped you, then I think about clicking that button. If you want to see more videos from me, then click the box right here. It's right over here. Once again, I'm Joey Keith, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Later.